simplify the following complex fraction. Where the numerator is 2 plus 1 over x, and the denominator is 4 minus 1 over x squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this as 2 over 1 plus 1 over x, x, and then 4 over 1 minus 1 over x squared. So now in order to simplify this, the first thing we need to do is to multiply the top and bottom by the LCD, the lowest common denominator, or the LCM, the lowest common multiple, of each of the denominators in the complex fraction. So we are looking for the LCD of 1x and x squared, and that number is x squared. So we want to multiply the top of the fraction by x squared and the bottom by x squared. And remember, we want to multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing because then we'll essentially be multiplying by 1. So we won't be changing the expression at all as opposed to just multiplying, you know, whichever one you want. So now I'm just going to distribute this x squared into each of the terms. So in the numerator we get 2x squared over 1 plus x squared over x. And then in the denominator we get 4x squared over 1 minus x squared over x squared. So now we can simplify. 2x squared over 1 is just 2x squared. And then x squared divided by x, you can rewrite that as x times x over x. And so one of the x's will cancel out um, with the one in the uh, denominator. So what we're left with is just x. And then in the denominator of the complex fraction, we have 4x squared minus 1. So now we have to simplify. Um, and simplifying, this is just the basic old uh, rational expression where the first thing we do is try to factor some factor things out. So let me rewrite this down here. Get 2x squared plus x over 4x squared minus 1. Now this can be written as 2 times x times x plus x. I haven't changed anything. And then 4 times x squared. Well, 4 is 2 squared, right? So 2 squared times x squared minus 1 squared, which is just 1. And I'll, I'll show you where I'm, where I'm going with this. So in the numerator, there's an x in common in both terms. So let's factor it out. So this becomes x, and what's left over? 2x plus 1. And then now notice, for the denominator, and I'll do this work on the side, this becomes 2x squared minus 1 squared. And so what does this look like to you? Difference of squares, right? So we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Where in this case, a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 1. So now keeping that in mind, we can, um, using this little trick, we want to do, we want to rewrite a plus b times a minus b. So a plus b is 2x plus 1. And then a minus b is 2x minus 1. And now canceling things out, there's a 2x plus 1 in the numerator and the denominator. So what's left over is just an x in the numerator and 2x minus 1 in the denominator. And now since there's nothing else we can do, we can't reduce any further, then this is the solution to the complex fraction given above.